laundry day. Gotta love laundry day. All right, where is that light switch? No, nope, there it is. Gives me an idea for this video. What's up everybody, thanks for stopping by. My name's Adam and welcome to my channel. So this week's video, I was trying to come up with, uh, you know, what I wanted to make the video about, really. Um, and then I got to thinking, you know, every time I open my laundry room door, I'm kind of looking for the light switch. And, you know, I run in to get a jacket because that's where my coat closet is also, same thing. Run in real quick, try and find a light switch. Sometimes I find it real quick, sometimes I don't. Light switches in my apartment, uh, some of them are on this side of the door, some of them are on this side of the door. And then it hit me, you know, hey, why not just automate the lights in the laundry room? I don't go in there very often. Find a way to uh, automate it so that when I open the door, the lights automatically turn on, and then when I close the door, the lights automatically turn off. So I figured I'd do that this week. So I went to Walmart yesterday, and I bought a Mercury Innovations Smart Wi-Fi Door and Window Sensor 2-Pack. Um, don't really need two of them, but they didn't have a single pack, so I figured, you know, might as well get a two-pack. I'll find a use for the second sensor. And some Mercury Innovations Smart Wi-Fi bulbs to go with it. Um, I double-checked, and it does say that it works with uh, my Echo Smart Home Assistant. And even if it doesn't, they should work together just through the Mercury app because they're both Mercury Innovations products. So what I wanted to do today in this video, open up the box for this one. Um, I'm assuming you guys have all opened up smart bulbs before. Um, if not, let me know. And I can make a video uh, specifically about opening up and setting up smart bulbs, um, you know, through their individual apps and then as well as through uh, the Echo Home Smart Assistant. Uh, the Google Play and the Apple Play, don't know, don't use those. <clears throat> but this was more of a focus because, like I said, you know, um, everybody's got smart bulbs. I've got, I think I've got probably 15 to 20 smart bulbs, all different manufacturers. Um, it's just whatever based on the price, what I need, and the availability of it. So this one here is what we'll be unboxing and setting up. Um, and then after I get that all set up, we'll do a quick little test and just to make sure it's working. Do me a favor, if you guys like this video, hit that like button for me. If you like the content and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button for me. Um, you know, if you got any questions, comments, suggestions, concerns, whatever, uh, you know, maybe you want to see me open up some smart bulbs and set them up just, you know, maybe you've never done it before and you're curious how. Leave a comment down below and let me know and I will get back to y'all. So what we'll do, first things first, we'll unbox it. I will um, see what all comes in the packaging. We'll set the app up. And then we will go and install it in my laundry room doorway and put the light bulbs in my laundry room light fixture. Give it a test and see how it goes. Come back here when it's all done, see what we think. All right, so looking over the front of the box, Mercury Innovation Smart Wi-Fi Door Window Sensors. Comes in a two-pack. Get notified when windows or doors are open. And there's a picture of what your notification would look like on your phone's home screen. Side of the box, these install in any entryway, doors, windows, cabinets, attics, safes, basements, and closets. Easily install with included adhesive or screws. Since I rent, this will be an adhesive installation and not a screw installation. Back of the box, <clears throat> the Greeny app controls all of your smart products, or all of our smart products. Security, lighting, power, simple setup, download the app, install it, and connect it. And it says we can control it, we uh, can get the app from the App Store or Google Play for Androids. Uh, instant alerts, notifications sent to your phone in real time, and automation, easy interaction with our other products such as having lights and appliances turn on when a door is opened. Alright, let's open this bad boy up and see what all we get inside. Kind of wondering. I didn't see it at first. All 
All right, so here is the adhesive and the screws for one of them, adhesive and screws for the other one. Set that there. And here are the sensors themselves. They look pretty nice. Not too awful big, about the size of my finger. Smart Wi-Fi door sensor start guide. Which tells what comes in the box. Downloading the app, registering the account, and activating it, connecting, more connecting, AP mode, and easy mode. We're going to try the easy mode first, of course. And then the screws or the 3M adhesive. We're going to use the 3M adhesive and the different functions of what it can do. And we're happy when you're happy. They want us to share it if we're happy, and if we need help, contact them for any support. So step one, download the Greeny app. Let's go ahead and get that going now. All right, so I downloaded the Greeny app, I installed it, and I registered an account. Now I need to add a device. So device is going to be a smart sensor. Power on and confirm the indicator light is flashing quickly. Okay, so we've powered it on. The light is flashing quickly. It's pretty faint behind the case, but it is there. All right, we will allow only while using the app. I will find the Wi-Fi network and plug that one in. All right, I've entered my network name and my password and now the app is trying to connect to the network. All right, that did not take long at all. Done. Let's put a magnet by it and see if it picks it up as being closed. And it just picked it up as being closed. Good deal. So that works. All right. So here we are in my laundry room. I've replaced my standard dumb light bulbs with uh, the Mercury smart Wi-Fi light bulbs overhead there. Got the switch turned on. Just got to leave the switch on for everything to work like I want it to. I've got my door sensor. I got one of the sensors right here, or one half of the door sensor kit right here. And then the other one is right here in the door frame. I put the, the small uh, little magnet part of the door, door sensor on the door itself and left the larger, uh, larger half of the door sensor in the door frame. I've that's more for aesthetics, you know, personal choice there. Yeah, I don't really think it matters. I just figured the smaller part with the door open, you know, it's not big, as big, uh, as bulky, nearly as ugly. So I also um, got the routine set up through the native Genie app that these products use. And now we will give it a test run and see how it works. All right, so I was watching from the other side of the door, obviously, closed the door, saw the lights had turned off, opened the door, saw the lights turned on. A um, little bit of a delay between um, the door closing and the lights turning themselves off, and you know, maybe like a millisecond or two delay between the door opening and the lights turning on like they're supposed to. So, everything seems to be good so far. Let's head back to the table and wrap this up. So there we go. I got my laundry room lights to automatically turn on when I come into the laundry room and then turn off when I leave the laundry room and close the door. A uh, little bit of a delay sometimes between turning them on or turning them off. I don't know if it's maybe the sensor just is on a loop every so many seconds. It'll send the signal 
uh, to the, the server and let the server know whether or not to turn the lights on or off. Um, but the delay, I don't know. I mean, my Wi-Fi signal and strength is, you know, excellent throughout my entire place. Uh, it's right in between um, two nodes of my mesh router, so uh, there shouldn't be any signal interference or any struggle getting to uh, the Wi-Fi from there. Um, but, you know, sometimes I guess you do get what you pay for. Um, there are other options out there. I'm sure there are better options out there. The Samsung SmartThings um, multi-purpose sensor would probably be a little bit quicker. But then again, it's probably roughly the same cost or more for a single sensor. Um, and since, you know, none of my content is sponsored and everything that I uh, buy and set up and review and test out here, I'm paying for it out of my own pocket. So money is a little bit of an object uh, when it comes to these smart home things. But um, I think it was about $25 for the two pack of sensors from Walmart. And then I can't remember, $15 or $20 for the three pack of smart bulbs. So, oh, and you don't need a smart home assistant to get into the Mercury uh, smart home ecosystem. You don't need an additional hub. It all works directly through Wi-Fi and then up to their servers and back. So it's, it's not like the Philips Hue where you got to buy a Philips Hue bridge or have a smart, uh, smart assistant with a built-in hub. So, I mean, that, that $45 to $50 is all you've got to pay to get set up and running. Set up. Uh, setting up the app on my phone was no problem. Creating the scene so that when my door opens, it does turn the lights on, and then creating another scene so that when the door closes, it turns the lights off. That was a little bit more cumbersome than what I'm used to, but I'm used to always setting up uh, routines through my Echo device, and that is super intuitive, super easy to do. Um, so that's just what I'm used to. This is trying to set up a scene or routine in a whole new uh, app or system that I've never done before, so I'm just not familiar with it. Um, but once I figured it out, it was no problem at all. It was just figuring out how to do it. Um, I was able to connect the bulbs to my uh, Echo, my Echo device, and uh, through my whole Echo smart home environment so I can still control those lights using um, her but the uh, the door sensor the yeah the, the smart Wi-Fi door sensor is not compatible with echo so uh, that's why I had to use the genie app uh, the genie native app that comes with the mercury innovations products to create those scenes. You know, other than the slight delay, and like I said, if I use the Samsung Smart Things, I don't think I would have a delay because the two motion sensors I've got in my place, as soon as they pick up motion, they turn the lights on like they're supposed to when they're supposed to. But they're also more expensive, and if I didn't have uh, the Echo device with the built-in hub, I would need to buy the Smart Things hub, the Samsung Smart Things hub, to make all that work. So they do not work directly with Wi-Fi. They need some sort of hub to relay uh, the sensor information to the Wi-Fi and then up to the SmartThings servers or however that works. Um, if you guys you know, like this setup and you like these products and you want to give it a try, I will post the links down below as well as the links to um, let's see the Samsung SmartThings motion sensor or yeah, the motion sensors I've mentioned the uh, multi-purpose sensor, which can do basically the same thing that this Mercury Innovation sensors do, and as well as links to, you know, my gear that I'm using if you like the look of this video. I got my Z6 camera, I've got the Rode Wireless Go mic, I've got a Feel World monitor, uh, my studio lights here, and then the accent light behind me. And um, like I said earlier in the video, if you guys like this video, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know it's a good video and other people need to see it. If you like the content, hit that subscribe button so you guys can keep up with my latest videos and go back and check out some of the older videos. Uh, any comments, questions, concerns, or whatever, leave a comment down below and I will get back to y'all. Thanks, guys. Hope to see y'all next time.